In today's video, I'm going to show you five tools I use to create video content fast without hiring an editor or spending days on it. And if you stick until the end, I will give you an overview of different AI tools that you can leverage depending on the content style that you use. Let's get started with scripting. This is where every video begins. You need a good idea and a rough outline or a good script to get started with your videos. And for this part of the video generation process, I use different AI tools like ChatGPT, Gemini, Cloud, and even sometimes Croc. I rotate between them because I feel like every AI is kind of a different personality and depending on the stuff that I'm actually looking for, they have different outputs and I just pick the ones that I genuinely like. Bonus tip, if you know your style and you can give some example scripts and example videos, to make AI sound like you, you can also do that by providing a little bit more data on your style. And it really helps with the scripting. Like for example, this video, I use ChatGPT for my scripts. So it depends on your style, your content, and which AI you actually like using, in my opinion. You can rotate between them or just pick the one that you genuinely enjoy. Moving on to number two, this is actually where it gets wild. You can use AI avatars that feel like a person to generate videos for you. So crazy. I use HeyGen and captions to make my own AI avatar. Or you can just pick out of a huge library to pick like a human speaking for your content. I mean, you can do whole script and make the AI talk for you. This is me, generally. But this is an AI. Hi there, how are you? Mm-hmm. It really sounds like me, but I feel like it doesn't have my energy and vibe. But like, it's pretty close. I've seen a lot of accounts that have millions of followers and this is just only AI-based content. It's crazy. You can also leverage that if you're into that part, but I just really like shooting videos, to be honest. What's cool about it is that you can actually translate your stuff into multiple languages and you can do like a better lip sync. For example, Captions has so many languages, I can just make myself sound different. For example, in French, I'm not fluent in French, je ne parle pas français, but my AI twin does, or maybe like Japanese or Portuguese, like you can differentiate people in different languages. I think that's very, very cool. Um, you can make AI do the stuff that you cannot do. Salut tout le monde! Vous vous êtes déjà demandé pourquoi on pose toujours cette question? Comment allez But I prefer to <laughs> make mistakes and like be myself in front of the camera. But it's really nice to have as an option. Do you use AI avatars for your content? I'm quite curious. What, what's your thought about this? Let me know in the comments below. I'm just curious about what you think because I feel like it's getting creepy. Moving on to the next one. Number three, video animations. I use Hydra for this. I found out about it a few weeks ago and I just love it because you can actually do like cartoons, your own animations. For example, this is my character based on this video. I made it using Dolly, ChatGPT, and I made it in Ghibli style, Studio Ghibli, Ghibli. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, and I made a talk. I gave it like a small script and then um, I picked one of the audios or I ha also have the option to upload my own audio, but it was too long. So I just picked Rachel as an American character. I believe Rachel sounded like me <laughs> compared to the other ones. Anyways, so you can use some type of animation, some type of different characters to make actually animations using AI. And the tool I use for that is Hydra. This is gold. You can do video animations with different style. You can also try out Disney style, Pixar style, different type of animation style. It could also be manga, like 
just pick the stuff that you like and you can test it out. I mean, it's not perfect yet, but it's like a really fun thing to try out in general, in my opinion. So for my editing, I love CapCut. I use CapCut and CapCut has a lot of AI features. You can make the text talk. <laughs> this has some AI in the background and you can actually write the scripts and pick out from the text and it saves so much time. Hello. 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 And you can actually do like AI editing for your videos and then polish it a little bit. Okay. Oh, my computer quit on me. One of the features I love is the AI text version where I can just pick out the stuff that I actually want to talk about from the video that are relevant for me to speak about. Also, this script is pretty nice uh, with some AI features. You can just edit based on the text and add some B-roll on top of it as another option. I think it's also super nice um, if you're not into CapCut, but I just love CapCut and it has amazing features. Moving on to tool number five, Auto Shorts. I love Opus Pro for this. So from your long format content, you could just paste the link and then you can turn the stuff into short format content. It usually gives you like between eight to 15 options. And I just pick like three to five videos out of it where I feel like, okay, this is actually a good cut or this could perform. And then I just upload it. It takes me like just one or two hours and it's just extra content that I can publish based on my YouTube videos. I can publish them on LinkedIn, Instagram, or add as YouTube shorts. This is super efficient because it's the content I already shot and within a few hours, I would just get short format content out of it. And it has a feature to add AI B-roll so it can add some interesting visuals. For example, for my video, Prompt engineering framework, like um, I made like a grandma framework and I wanted to turn this into short format content. And for the B-roll, it generated me a really cute grandma just writing something on the computer. I thought it was very nice and it was just like within a few minutes. I didn't have to spend that much time on it, just picking up the visuals or like creating some videos or shooting it myself <laughs> dressed like a grandma. Um, I think it's super nice to get like um, short format content based on the videos you already have. And as promised, I've listed some of the similar AI tools different in different categories around my production process. I'm not using all of them, to be honest, because there are a lot of stuff going on out there. But these stuff I mentioned in the video I'm using and you can check out the other ones if you like. So here's like a good overview. Which one is actually useful for you? Which one you are already using and which one are you going to try out? Let me know about what you think in the comments below. I will do like a full breakdown of each category and of the different tools very soon. And if you're curious about AI automations for content creation, I will explore that in the future. And if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe and you can also like my other videos around here. Check them out. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye.